So this video is not going to have the uh, countdown, the introduction, any of that cool fun stuff that, uh, you know, Dynasty of Wrestling has been doing with our podcast. I know I haven't been on live in a while. Um, I meant to do this, I guess, two weekends ago, I think, and I uh, had to make a trip to San Antonio, Texas. As the new GM, you know, I have responsibilities for talent scouting, things like that, as well as I had a responsibility to my family. We went to uh, took the Gus Six Flags for the birthday, and then uh, turned around this past week, had to go to Dallas, do a little talent scouting while in Dallas, as well as taking my son to his uh, first official concert, which he chose to go to Eric Church. Um, and I think the only reason he chose Eric Church is because he knows I like Eric Church too, so he knew we'd both have fun. But this video is not just about wrestling it's about a lot of things um and yeah i'm, I'm not looking directly at the camera because this is one of those videos that's just kind of hard to to do straight on like to, to be in full character now as your gm of course i will be there august 12th indy mania looking forward to it i'm going to be handcuffed to titanic looking forward to getting a little bit of revenge on that piece of crap this time you know what i mean it, it's it is what it is. I'm actually heading into the city now. And, you know, this is something that I'm going to start trying to kind of do is give you all a little insight into what it takes to be at shows for some of the guys, for, for any of us, really. You, you don't realize what a wrestler puts into this. And a lot of people say, oh, it's, it's not that hard being on the indie scene. You know, you get to go home every night. You get to do this every night. Um, no, really, you don't. Um, you know, WWE, they're on the road 300 and what, 350, 360 nights out of the year. There's 365 days in the year, so they get five days off, something like that. Independence seems a lot worse because then you have, uh, you know, shows where a lot of us back in the day, when I first broke in this business, we were doing double and triple shots sometimes. We would get up first thing in the morning on Saturdays, you know, you'd have you know, Saturday show, first thing in the morning, you'd go to, what was it, Memphis TV would be taped, some of us would be there, some of us would be at other places, it just, it, it just depended on where you were at the time, who you were working with, what you were working for, and stuff like that, you would have different shows, I mean, there, there were a number of times where I did a show in uh, Batesville, Mississippi, uh, at noon, and I had to be back in Paragold, Arkansas, by 7 o'clock at night, to do a show there and we drove through you know torrential rain possible tornadoes all kinds of stuff i mean that's just the life of a professional wrestler that's what you deal with and people don't realize the financial burden the stress of it at home the stress of it on your body and yourself emotionally um because sometimes it can be an avenue to escape life you know, and that's one thing we try to do as performers is we try to make it to where when you come pay your money to see us wrestle, that we give you the best two hours, three hours show that we can to get you away from the drama of life, to get you away from the stress of, you know, the next day at work or whatever it is that's bothering you. We want you to escape your reality by watching us beat the shit out of each other put on a great show and tell a good story. Now, we do it. Because one, we love this business, we respect this business, we got into this business because we all had dreams of being a champion. My dream, believe it or not, was not to go to WWE, was not to go to WCW, was to go be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, which later on did become the WCW Championship, but still not not the same in my book. You know, you got the Flares, you got the Dusties, you got the Harleys, you got uh, the Funks, Tommy Wrench, of course. Tommy Rich uh, will actually be there August 12th, by the way. Just plugging that in there. Don't miss Indy Mania. going to be a wild, wild show there in Blyville, Arkansas, 600 North 10th Street. I just remembered that off the top of my head, so don't ask. But, yes, it's going to be a great show. Um, lots of things going on. But, you know, I, uh, for the first time in, I think we figured it up, as it was right around almost six years. I stepped in the ring. It was an honor and a blessing that I had such an amazing tag team partner in Luke Justice. Uh, it was an honor that uh, the Riot Squad had my back when things went down, and, and come out and stopped, you know, stopped the uh, what, what, what's that group called? The N 
insane circus, insane clowns, whatever the hell they are. Crazy Carnival, that's it. Or the Cuckoo Carnival, whatever. You know, they come out and stop them from doing more damage than, than what they did. I mean, I got busted open. I've got some scars from the kendo stick shot that Titanic hit me with right there. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. I've got, uh, I've got my battle scars, and I feel like I'm in a better place now than I was a couple of weeks ago. I know I've still got a little bit of a, uh, a, a what's that, a keg or a pudge there, but that'll be coming off slowly but surely. Been working on that, um, but I've been thinking and, and doing a lot of soul searching and preparing for for everything that's to come because you never know what's going to happen. In Titanic, I know that I'm going to be handcuffed to you. I promise you one thing: you're not going to affect the outcome of this match. If I got anything to say about it, because I'm going to be handcuffed to you, and I will do whatever it takes to keep you from interfering in this match, you fucking bulldozer. But the whole purpose is, I want to give everybody a little insight, because I, I didn't. <laughs> the plan was to show up. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't gonna wrestle. That was uh, one of those things that just so happened that Luke needed a partner right place right time I got to be able to step back in the ring for the first time you know eventually the end goal is I want my hands on Titanic somehow some way I want to get him away from his little cuckoo carnival and I want to get my hands on him and I want to teach him a lesson I don't know how it's going to happen but I'm going to find a way to ha make it happen as a general manager you know it's going to happen um but the fact is, we, we did drive eight hours away. We weren't able to go home and be at home that night. Um, granted, we did drive home, but we weren't home that night. We weren't home until close to six or so in the morning, the next morning after the show was over. Um, and we actually stayed in a hotel the night before the show there in, in town, in Jonesboro. And so that does have some wear and tear on your body does have some wear and tear on your relationship luckily we had a family reunion the day of the show was able to make that and still get to the show on time um looking forward to doing this august 12th uh hopefully titanic can keep himself in check i can be professional if he can definitely going to get uh get some live podcasts going at the show august 12th trying to get some of the guys in the ring so you fans can ask questions so there can be a number of things talked about throughout the show. That way everybody can ask questions of any wrestler they want that we can get in the ring. Do some fun stuff. Maybe do some karaoke. Do some sing-along. Do whatever. And so as long as Titanic can be professional, we'll co-host the event. If not, I'll have to have security remove his dumb ass from the ring. Because I'm not trying to have the fan fest part of this run because he wants to be a petty baby. You know, we don't need the extreme if and getting all crying. Um, and I know I keep bouncing back and forth between what it costs and real life and the show that or you the show and shit. But it's all tied in together. I mean, I'm willing to I'm willing to sacrifice my time from home, my time with my family. You know, they go on the road with me. I don't go without my family. That's one thing I don't do. I won't do. Out of respect for my family, I, I don't do that. And I like them to be a part of, of the business with me. I don't want them in the ring, but I like them to be there in my support system and, and be able to be a part of it. But, you know, all kendo stick shots aside, it's rough. It's not near as easy as people think it is. I have led a charmed life. I've said it before. I battle depression, I battle anxiety, um, high blood pressure, number of things. I mean, I won't go into great detail because my, my business is my business, but I have a number of issues that were brought on by wrestling and a number of issues that uh, were caused by wrestling. And I still love the business. I love anytime I can go work at a company and give them everything I've got. I'm happy to be a part of the AWA roster and be the general manager of the company to help, you know, find new talent. And, and it's been a great job so far. Uh, it was a little rough first down job, you know. Got beat up, busted open. But I'm home.
hoping that we can get a little payback. I'm hoping that come August 12th, the riot squad can handle the, the cuckoo carnival and I'll handle cuckoo kachoo on the outside. Maybe we can get a diaper on his big dumb ass and a pacifier and get him back to, you know, not being a bitch. But, you know, there's that. But don't miss, don't miss the shows. There's two great shows this weekend. As a matter of fact, I just, uh, I just heard about another one that's going to be in Paragould, Arkansas, on the 11th. That is the 11th of August, the night before Indie Mania. So if you guys want to check us out there at NWF at the Paragould Fairgrounds, we will be there live August 11th at the NWF show, and then we will be the very next night live right there at 600 North 10th Street in Blyville, Arkansas. Ha <laughs> ha, Arkansas, that was funny. I don't care who you are, I'll laugh. For Indie Mania, so check out the NWF Superstars, and then check out your AWA Superstars, and some of your NWF Superstars at Indie Mania. As well as former NWA World Heavyweight Champion Tommy Rich, uh, unified champion and both members as a matter of fact both of them are former members of the Memphis Mafia or are members of the Memphis Mafia I mean once a member of the Mafia always a member right Dangerous Doug Gilbert and Tommy Wildfire Rich they will both be there downtown Bruno will be there he's a star and if you haven't watched The Young Rock you should because he he's got a character in that that they uh, they kind of portrayed him pretty good Downtown Bruno is uh, is a legend, man, and he's going to be a special guest referee in Sarge and Biscuit's match against Tommy and Doug. That'll be entertaining. And then, of course, myself being handcuffed to old Ty Flanick and uh, them having that street fight. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. It, you know, packing up. I'll be packing up more shit this time than I did last time to come because I'll bring my gimmicks to sell, things like that. Have some t-shirts and stuff, but uh, and I'll have to bring the podcast equipment. But here's the thing. It's worth it because I love this business. There's a passion for it. There's a drive for it. And if I retire anytime soon, it'll be on my terms, not anyone else's terms. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud that I get to come back. I'm proud that uh, everybody has allowed me this opportunity to come back, to mend some fences, as they say, to clear some heat, to put out some fires, and to ignite the fire in my soul, the passion that I have, and to kind of help with my anxiety and depression that I have battled. Um, because wrestling really does work as an avenue to channel a lot of things to help me through. So, you're going to get a couple more of these videos leading up to Indie Mania, hopefully, if everything works out. I, I don't, I've gotten where I just don't keep up with it the way I should, and I need to, I need to do better. And I'm going to start trying to do better as I try not to, yeah, there we go, please stop. <laughs> I'm going to try to do better about keeping up. I'm going to get more people on the podcast, I'm going to get the podcast going, uh, Every so often, it won't be as regular as it was, maybe once a month, maybe twice a month. It just depends. Um, and I got a phone call from a good friend. I've been invited to the NWF, so Friday night, I will do everything in my power. Uh, as far as I know, we will be there Friday night for the NWF show, so everybody show up and check it out. See what happens there, and then don't miss... Indie Mania, the first ever Indie Mania. I'm um, hoping this turns out to be a big deal. And sorry I've rambled so much. I know I'm not that entertaining by myself. Titanic's the uh, the comedy bit. I'm the serious bit, right? But since he turned on me, we haven't been doing any bits. And it sucks. So now i got to kick my brother's ass. But thank you guys. I appreciate all the love and support. And hope everybody shows up for Indie Mania. Y'all have a safe, wonderful week. Actually, uh, yeah, the safe, wonderful next two weeks. And I will see y'all August 11th and 12th in Paracord and Blyville, Arkansas for NWF and AWA. Going to be some epic shows. Ready to have some fun. Much love, safe travels, and, you know, positive thoughts and prayers, folks. Have a good one.